Something about fishing gets in your blood. It's a beautiful sport. There's problems on all rivers, but the worst problem is when you get pickerel and bass. I seen the best here, and uh, maybe someday we'll get it half back. And maybe we'll get it all back. I don't know. When I first learned of, about aquatic invasive species was when I moved to Petro County in 2007. I was so focused on trout and salmon and that's what uh, everyone around me was fishing for and talking about. But when I moved to Pictou County, I learned that there was some uh, waters invaded with invasive species and uh, I wanted to learn more about it. Smallmouth bass and chain pickerel uh, both find their origins in Nova Scotia back in the 1940s. Uh, smallmouth bass were legally introduced by the province and the government of the day to compensate for some lost fish habitat and uh, to provide additional recreational opportunities. In total, the province legally stocked 13 lakes in Nova Scotia with smallmouth bass. And from there, there was a little bit of natural migration, but the majority of introductions we see today are a direct result of illegally transferring and introducing fish. Uh, chain pickerel were never legally introduced into Nova Scotia. Uh, they were first found in Digby County in 1945 and have since spread to uh, well over 150 or 200 lakes. The County River Association has uh, been around since 1992. The number of things that the, the River Association does, um, which includes education and restoration, you know, looking back at the 90s, what, uh, what those founding members did, you know, we need to be able to keep doing that for other generations, for the next generation and the next generation, so that we have a full ecosystem around our, our watersheds. We talk about fish and angling, but it's, it's more than that. Half of our province is being threatened with invasive species right now. I joined the Nova Scotia Salmon Association because I wanted my voice to be heard amongst a group of like-minded anglers, and I wanted our voice to be consistent and line up with scientific evidence to support my concerns around invasive species. Our Nova Scotia Salmon Association has a lot of experts hired on that know the science, have performed studies, and are aware of the threats of invasive species. So one collective voice to advocate for native species and to suggest ways to manage invasive species is what I was hoping to gain by joining the group. People in some parts of the province don't have that true association with brook trout and Atlantic salmon anymore because the invasive species spread has happened so fast. My message to you and your river that you're just starting to see bass and pickerel, you better get organized before they spread because they're going to spread. Your river will change and, uh, and you'll be like myself and say, hey, boy, it used to be good. But I'm optimistic that we can slow the spread down, protect what we have, and continue to advocate for conservation of brook trout and Atlantic salmon.